All right, we're ready for week eight of the big three on FS1. Our first game, Power, taking on Tri-State. Time now to join the third member of our team roaming the sideline, Michael Rappaport. All right, this is Michael Rappaport. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're in Los Angeles. I'm with Catino Mobley. Cat is what they call him. How do you feel about being back in Los Angeles, getting ready to play for the big three, where grown men don't take days off? <laughs> yeah, man. It's good to see everybody out here. We're going to kind of give, them, give them a show. All right, well, have a great game. You ready to play some ball? Yeah. Let's go. All right, thank you very much, Michael. Let's take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Degree Deodorant. It won't let you down. Catino Mobley is the captain. What do you see with these guys? Russell Butler, I think, really has to step up and knock down shots. He's been hampered a little bit by his knee, but if he can stretch out the defense, he can score into Sean Stevenson. That sh first shot goes in, Gus. He's deadly. All right, let's take a look at Dr. J's Tri-State captain by Bonzi Wells. Well, here's a team that's playing spoiler. Last week, beat Ghost Ballers, kind of set them back a little bit. Bonzi started the game off hot. Let's see if the offense goes back through Bonzi Wells. All right, last week, Tri-State beating the Ghost Ballers 51-43 to in Lexington, Kentucky. And power losing the trilogy in Lexington 50 to 45 so here's what's at stake in terms of the championship scenarios Tri-State eliminated with the loss power to clinch the number three seed with a win so we're underway first game of the day power versus Tri-State Lee Nalen makes his home in Dallas Texas from Indiana this is his first shot they say styles make fights. Explain the styles of both these teams for us, Jim. Well, you have a guard play you see right here with Catino Mobley getting to a spot with Deshaun Stevenson and Catino. They're going to spread the court. JYB is back in the mix, guys. Now he's going to give you a lot of hustle points where Tri-State is more of a power team. Love to get the ball in the paint. Bonzi Wells on the baseline, and he'll get the soft roll. So Tri-State 2-5, and five, power 4-3 and three on the season. Bonzi Wells had 18 points against the Ghost Ballers last week on 8 of 14 shooting. Now JYD, the junkyard dog out of Georgetown. Mobley, baseline Stevenson, and that went in and out. Mike James, the Amityville Horror, short. Mobley bump. Gets to the hole, pull up jumper, and pure. Latino just get into a spot. That time he had an opportunity to get to the basket, Gus, but Bonzi recovered. Nice little step back, pull up 15 foot jump shot. Patino Mobley coming off a 17 point effort against Trilogy last week. Second time in the last three games, he shot 50% or better. Meanwhile, Naylor ties it at four. Remember the first team with 25 will. Signal halftime and a foul. Mobley curls 16 footer. That one off the front rim, and Mike James will take it back. James, 20-foot jump shot, straight away, no. Stevenson pick and roll with JYD, picks up his dribble in no man's land. Naylin gets a hand on it and forces the turnover. That time, Naylin able to jump out on the pick and roll, forcing Deshaun Stevenson to be a little uncomfortable turnover. But that's what Tri-State was able to do last week, Gus, was defensively get up into their opponent and force him either to take bad shots or turn the ball over. Last week, Tri-State only committed three turnovers, forced 11 in their win against the Ghost Ballers. Nalen off to a great start as Tri-State takes a 6-4 to four lead. Yeah, this is a Tri-State team, too, guys, that's been in a lot of games, especially down to the wire, but just unable to finish. The last week, we're able to kind of dominate the game against both Ghost Ballers. JYD with the jump hook. Loose ball batted around. Bonzi Wells picks it up. Nathan extra pass down low. Mike James quick turn up. Batted around. Picked up well. Straight to the hole. Left hand off the glass. Good. And 
Tri-State coming out hell-bent to start this one. Well, they and they have a lot of energy. If you're power, you need to win this game. And more importantly, Gus, you see a jump shot there. you got to match the intensity that uh, Tri-State is going to bring to the table this afternoon. Week eight of the big three. This is the final week of the regular season. Playoffs begin next week. Inside, Nayland, no. JYD there for the easy stick back. They don't have to take the ball back if it doesn't hit the rim. Old school playground rule. That's right. 8-6, Wells, hard drive to the bucket, gathers himself, kicks it down. Mike James, rise and fire, short. Mobley wants to always get to that spot. He's deadly when he gets there. Right around here. One to shoot, and he doesn't get it off in time. Tito Mobley. Yeah, good D here's Deshaun Stevenson playing. He gives up the size, and smartly he talked about not having to clear the ball after if it doesn't touch the rim. JYD making his presence felt. Now Dominic McGuire has checked in. He wears number five. And a steal. McPherson right off the bench. Steals a basketball. The kick. Stevenson wide open for three. McGuire. Looking for Wells inside and McGuire. Foul away from the basketball. McPherson and Wells battling on the box. We saw a lot of this last week, so McPherson is going to give up a lot of sides. Against Al Harrington, he was really physical. Against Bonzi, he's going to be physical. He understands his game is about power, so he won't allow a bigger player to post him up here and use that frame to battle inside. Inside, Nayland can't convert. Mobley wide open for three. Got a good look at it. Now McGuire backing it up. Crosses over to the hole. The runner off the glass and in. Dominic McGuire had a 13-point effort against the Ghost Ballers last week on 5 of 10 shooting. Now about the eight rebounds and five assists, so he was filling the stat sheet up. Eli Stevenson now with a three-pointer. 10-9, first team to 25. We go to halftime. Nayland bumping and grounded inside with McPherson. McPherson not giving ground, and Nayland finally fouled by McPherson. As Rasul Butler checks in. Butler traded from the ball hall. You see the post up defense here. I think a lot of times, Gus, if you just try to just post up inside, it's easier to defend if you can get a guy moving inside. Now he's able to catch, go, and get inside. So Naylor at the free throw line. And it's good. So far, Tri State shooting a good percentage, four of nine from the field. Power also shooting it well, five of nine. Stevenson has got to score. Just like that. Nice job. I'm telling you, when Deshaun squares his body up, knocks down a couple shots, he's as deadly a shooter as anybody in our league right now. Game tied at 12. Nayland mid range. And he's fouled on the release by Rasul Butler. Rasul Butler. Has played now three games with power after being traded. From the ball hogs. Lee Nalen. Last played in Mexico in 2016. His last year in the NBA, 05 06 with Philadelphia. Tri State, 2 and 5 on the season. Coached by Julius Irving, Dr. J. Clyde Drexler, the coach of power. Butler backing up. 11 footer. Loose. McPherson uses his body to get the rebound. Tries to get inside. McGuire denies him. Pull up jumper. Lefty. Pure. 
I guess we saw a lot of that last week in regards to McPherson doing the little things, rebounding, now able to get those broad shoulders inside the paint and even shoot over taller, Lee Naylor. We talked about McPherson when we were in Chicago, his mother cooked him a great meal, <laughs> including Peach Cobbler. That's, I think that's his nickname now, Peach Cobbler. Peach Cobbler, why, why, Sweet. why didn't we get an invite to that? Tasty. Uh -huh. I like Peach Cobb. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we could have we could at least bought some to the game. Right. Well, here's McPherson again. Inside dipping. Peach <laughs> Cobbler, <laughs> baby. <laughs> he put a little sauce on that, but that That's time right. he put those shoulders right into the chest of Dominic McGuire and moved them back like five feet. 16-14 power now taking the lead and the foul on the release. Keep an eye right here. I want you to watch this left shoulder. Right there. That <laughs> left shoulder. Oh, man. A little bully ball right there. Grown man basketball inside. And ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest fighters in the history of boxing is just sat down. Oscar De La Hoya is here. There is a statue of Oscar De La Hoya right outside the Staples Center. Made the transition from boxing into, to uh, a heck of a promoter. Tell you what, he looks like he's at his fighting weight, too. Oscar. Inside, McPherson again. Dr. J jumping off the bench, yelling three seconds. He won't get that call. A little bit more liberal at times with that three second call. You don't really see it a lot. And a turnover, James inside, has it made it, and somehow banked it high and off the glass, and in. Well, that's the active hand. You talked about forcing the turnovers last week. Tri-State has done an excellent job of making teams more uncomfortable uh, running their set offenses. Mike James with two six-point games the last couple of weeks after averaging 16 a game over the previous five. Your officials. Forwards this first game, Charles Rubia and Ian McClenny. And you see the defense right there. And a lot of times, guys, it's not, it's about be, being in the right position, uh, hands being active, forcing the team to spread their offense above the three point line a little bit more. Coutinho Mobley, last week against Trilogy, his numbers. Mobley adds a free throw, that's two points. Levels the game at 18. James the inbound. Guarded by Mobley, tries to shake him up. Baseline, Amundsen just in. And the tip in by Dominic McGuire. Looked like he wanted to flush it. Oh, he wanted to flush it that time, but Sue Butler fell asleep once the ball went up. McGuire did the smart thing, tracked it down. And a highlight tip in right there. McPherson inside the fade. Air ball, Mike James, lefty, no. Amundsen with the tip, batted around. Mike James takes it away from Petito Mobley. James, stop and start to the hole off the glass, softly and in. Mike James. 22-18, first team to 25, we go to halftime. Air ball, Amundsen right there. Oh, he missed it at point blank range. Finds McGuire, has it taken away by McPherson. Extra pass, Mobley hangs in the air, tries to scoop it. No, James wide open for three. Now Mobley, he'll fire a three of his own. Butler doesn't have to take it back. Double pump off the window and in. Well, how about the tip right there by McPherson keeping the possession alive smartly? He couldn't grab it, but he was able to tip it down to Rasul Butler. James. And we're at half time. Mike James. Knocks down to three. 25 20 to score as we go to the break. Still plenty to come from here in Los Angeles. It's the big three exclusively on FS1. All right, let's get it going. Good start, man. Get it rolling. Don't look back. Wake up.